Hey there guys, what's going on? So again, here we are with more vinyl unboxing coverage as I uh, go into my back catalogs here and uh, catch up on some stuff that got uh, a little cluttered and a little uh, a little lost in the background here and kind of bring it out and uh, use it for some, uh, some new video footage and uh, some new things to talk about going forward. Although there are about 10 million different things to talk about at any given time. So, you know, just pick one and kind of run with it, I guess. Uh, but today, in this particular installment, I want to talk about something that is very, 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 very unique. It was a big step in the Kickstarter campaigns with the way people see Kickstarter campaigns. It raised the most money of any Kickstarter campaign around, grossing in at over a million dollars, which has drawn much ire and distaste and distrust as well as a lot of fan support um i personally contributed obviously given what we're about to present here today um but i think it's interesting with what it has um sort of incited as a result of it being created and how people have reacted to it and personally from the standpoint of what we're going to unbox here today just basically how um, it really is unlike anything that I've had to this point, um, just in terms of just being very well put together and uh, feeling very collector's edition-y. I've never sort of had that. Um, I've gotten close to it in a sense, um, but this feels like really, uh, really something weighty, really quite the production, no matter uh, how you end up feeling about this artist. So, of course... Without further ado, we have Amanda Palmer and the Grand Theft Orchestra with her new album, Theater is Evil, the special Kickstarter edition. Now, I didn't get the full version with all the bells and whistles and things. That would have been quite the uh, pretty penny. And as it is, this was still uh, a decent, uh, decent dollar amount, but it was still... A uh, very interesting offer, you know, being the vinyl guy that I am, and I will admit that uh, I have enjoyed Amanda, Amanda's music for the last couple of years, uh, alongside so many other things, and uh, it certainly um, incited some fans along the way that I know, and people that I know, and, uh, you know, I thought it would be a cool thing to really uh, get behind and see kind of uh, what cool thing would come as a result of this particular enterprise. And so with it came this, and I gotta admit, you know, as I said, despite all the reaction, despite people's, uh, you know, ire and wanting to not like this, wanting to not like her, her music, that's fine, you know, she's a very odd individual, but you take it or leave it. You just, you kind of do, you kind of do what you feel with that. I personally think that uh, the record is pretty much a great statement of her. It's uh, it, that kind of element of just chaotic, off the rails, uh, to the wall kind of insanity mixed with sort of a very heartfelt, sincere melancholy and including um, some really interesting tunes. Uh, one song in particular that was uh, a long delay, a long wait for fans who wanted this song to be properly released and they were able to get that. Um, and it came out in really uh, eloquent form and just really establishing the fact that even as off the rails as she can be, there's still this um, very gravitated uh, center to her music that uh, can be really gorgeous at the same time with all of this stuff. So in here, we have Theater is Evil. In um, very nice, very, um, very weighty... Uh, solid material here. It's a double LP gatefold. You would expect nothing less really with uh, You know given that this is the deluxe package You're gonna want kind of them to go all out on that and you have all the lyrics All that stuff in here We have the vinyl theater is evil a nice uh, a decent cut. This was actually delayed uh, for quite a few weeks because they weren't happy with how the cut had turned out and brought it back and redid it, repressed it, and then did another version of it, um, which kind of feels like deja vu in a sense because when I ordered her ukulele record on vinyl a couple of years back, 
um, it was also uh, privy to the same delay. So it is what it is, but you want them to get it right in that situation. So I guess you got to give it over to her. If they're going to be dissatisfied, they want it to be a certain way and they want it to be perfect for the people who are going to be listening. So I got to give it to them for that. This is the second one here, the second LP. More lyrics, different things, photos with the band there. Basically kind of your same thing over again. Not really too intricate on those, but interesting all the same. And uh, the gatefold, of course, if I didn't show that off before, and all of its uh, well-sequined glory, etc., etc., um, and then sort of as the bonus, in addition to the really nice vinyl and the, uh, the hard shell case with the embroidery on it, uh, the, just sort of the inscription on it, I guess would be a better word, is uh, the fact that there's all this, this art in here. Now, I guess this is an excerpt of a full version you can buy. Uh, you can either buy through the campaign at the time, or maybe now you can. I'm not really sure. Um, but there's just there's a lot of different art in here. Like this little inscription on the back and saying who did uh, the artwork like that there's a bunch of different a uh, bunch of different prints in here some of a less appropriate nature than others but it's Amanda if you know her well enough this kind of comes with the territory and it's not really an unexpected thing and, it, and it's really cool because this is this is nice you know, a nice paper, a nice weighty uh, paper, really solid substance, um, and really very, um, very pretty just art prints and different styles and things. And um, I don't know if like any will end up making it maybe to some of my walls around here, something like that, but it seems like the kind of thing that uh, maybe you'd want to kind of put up and uh, display and really kind of um, appreciate alongside the record. So I felt that that was a really cool um, sort of a bonus thing to present uh, here, you know, and to uh, to kind of go over here on my channel in addition to just sort of your standard vinyl and just that I felt that it was really like nothing that I've ever gotten. And, and, and I got to give that to her and I got to say that um, it's a great, it's a really interesting record, but if you don't get her, you might not get it in general because it may just seem strange and what is the point of this and why is this like this? What are these lyrics? Um, and, and I'm not saying everything she does is a perfect step. There have definitely been some, um, you know, some unusual turns on the path that have had some hearken and wishing it, sort of wishing for the earlier days of things when, you know, <laughs> Map of Tasmania <laughs> wasn't a, a thing. But a lot of people believe in that, I'm sure. And uh, that's not really my territory to talk about. But. I thought that that was a very cool set. Amanda Palmer, Grand Theft Orchestra, Theater is Evil. It is a very um, profitable Kickstarter, a very interesting matter to talk about, uh, given who you speak to or who happens to uh, want to make a point or opinion on it. And I agree a little bit with both sides. It's certainly an interesting issue, but um, I'm pretty sort of psyched to have that in my collection because I think that's a pretty neat... Uh, uh, sort of piece of art altogether in addition to some uh, some good tunage. So that's it for that guys and you know keep it here because we've got more of these vinyl unboxing videos coming and uh, you know we've got more great reviews and uh, always wanting to take requests and do different things and uh, hopefully we can continue to do that going forward and can, can continue continue to grow and to branch um, well on into the future. But until then, guys, keep your music flowing and your vinyl spinning. I will see you all very, very soon.